One of the most memorable things that I've done with WIT is a show that I put together for Improvapalooza in 2013. And I had this idea that I wanted a bunch of the female improvisers in DC, um, just as many as would fit on stage doing really physical, weird stuff. And I felt like one of the ways that people would feel comfortable doing that is if you already look silly. So what's an easy way to look silly? wear a beard. Right, I was gonna say beard. So then I bought all these novelty beards and I did an open call and I got a huge response. It was amazing. The night of the show, we had 10 minutes and we had 30 women on stage. One of the, the cool things about doing the show, besides getting to do with all these awesome, crazy physical women, was um, my teammate, Matt Winterhalter, came up with a companion piece called Boobed Gentleman. <laughs> and it was wonderful because, yeah. you know, when I did, when I did the show, it, people could have been mean-spirited about it, but coming from a teammate, it was this like playful, like, yeah, you know, right, call and response thing. Well, and, yeah, as a man who can't grow a beard, I find your performance very offensive, but, <laughs> but the companion piece, I guess, soothes my, yeah. my offense. Yeah. So much fun, interesting work is being done here in D.C., and it's this creative underbelly of the city that people don't know about and I want it to continue to be a thing here and Washington Improv Theater does an amazing job of keeping a strong, vibrant community of improvisers happy and performing and doing interesting things here and I love it.